Now turning to the war on terror in Afghanistan, the Taliban have launched a new offensive to destabilize the country and intimidate voters before the upcoming August elections. After the Taliban captured one small town in eastern Afghanistan, U.S. and Afghan forces engaged them in a dramatic firefight to take it back. CBS News has an exclusive look at the operation as Mandy Clark reports from the front line. This is the battle for Baj Mahal. It started at dusk yesterday. Insurgents high on ridges, pouring fire down at this exposed U.S. position. Hundreds of Taliban overran Baj Mahal a week ago, the largest town in the eastern province of Nuristan. A hundred U.S. troops from the 10th Mountain Division, backed by the Afghanistan Army, are now fighting to win it back, as you can see in this exclusive video shot by CBS News. This battle lasted an hour. One U.S. soldier was killed along with ten insurgents. U.S. medics treated an insurgent who said he worked for a notorious Taliban leader, accused of a series of attacks on coalition forces. Bags of pecan bullets. A small arsenal of Taliban weapons were found at the local hotel. 1,700 AK-47 rounds, more than 30 rocket-propelled grenades, and explosives. The Taliban takeover of Baj Mahal was a message to villagers, but also to the people of Nuristan, that the Taliban will not tolerate voting in next month's elections. 88 voting registration cards from villagers were found on one dead insurgent. They were taken from villagers by force. And so the Taliban has made a concerted effort over the last month simply targeting the voting, the voting sites. And they are marginalizing the government and trying to ensure that they can't participate in, in the election. The Taliban may be gone for now, but if they manage to scare people here from voting in the election, it will be a blow to Afghanistan's efforts to build democracy here. Mandy Clark, CBS News, Barjmatal.